Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today we're going to take a look at the buffalo grass after two months and we'll do a quick look at the purple love grass as well. Ta-da! I haven't been back here in three or four days and I'm always amazed at how much this stuff grows in just a couple days once it gets to this point. I could see some weeds right there and some weeds right there. I'm gonna pull those in just a second but you could see once it gets to this point it starts going to seed. This is actually not seed. This is a pollen head and then they have the seed head way down low on the plant. This is a seed head right here, otherwise known as a burr. The prairie drop seed has gone to seed and it looks pretty good. This stuff is really cool looking after two or three years, but it actually takes five years to become fully mature. Okay, let's get up in there and see how well this stuff is shaded in. Oh, I see a bunch of weeds right here. That purpley color, that's all weed. Yeah, I guess I'll have to pull that really quick. There's not a huge amount of it. I've done a uh, big weeding in both of these prairies. I did the big one that's on film in this one, and that was like three weeks ago, I believe. Well, let's take a look at that real quick. You can tell all this stuff that's purpley colored here is weeds. Here it is right here, it's big. You pull that out, there's another one in here. Find it. Goes to right here. Oh, I missed it. Once you pull those out, oh, there's another one in there. Look at how big those are. They just spread way the heck out. There's another one right here. And another one right here. I don't have any buffalo grass seed with me. I usually do a weed and seed, but at this time of year, the buffalo grass has stolons all over the place. I'll show you one of those right away. You can see that is a stolon and that'll send roots into the ground. There's a couple more. They'll go and fill in any open spots like this. You can see this one, look at how big that is. So I'm not real worried about open spots and I'll leave this ground disturbed like that so that the stolons have a place to send their roots in. Yeah, that's a seed burr right there as well. Yeah, this is filling in really well there's still open spots, but that should fill in for the most part by the end of the year. Yeah, weeding won't be hard now. I'll go back and spray either quinclorac or MSM. I've never tried MSM before, and I'd like to give it a try. I'll spray that in probably a week or two on some of this broadleaf stuff. And that won't take long because there's not much here. Yeah, you get this. This is wood sorrel. And I'm not sure what this is. But you get these broadleaf weeds amongst the buffalo grass. And you want to get rid of them at least for two or three years until the buffalo grass is really well established. Yeah, I did a lot of weeding around this. This is either 
yeah, I believe this is big blue stem. Yeah, it's definitely big blue stem. It's almost like bamboo. This stuff is really hard when it gets older. Yeah, that's another big blue stem right there. Those will get about 10 feet tall. They're a pretty amazing grass. Yeah, this is doing really well. Got the occasional weed grass like this, which I'll just go in and yank out. But otherwise, it's a pretty pure patch of buffalo grass. Yeah, this looks beautiful. The last patch, the triangle down there, I haven't been down there in at least two weeks. We haven't cut the grass in ages. You can tell right there. Some of the grass is still at the same height as when we cut it last time, but a lot of this pasture grass is getting really long. So I'm gonna get out there and cut it today. But I haven't been down by the triangle cutting the grass or walking or anything. So I have no idea what it looks like down there. Looked pretty good last time. When I weeded, there was a big patch of smart weed here. And now the buffalo grass is filling in. Yeah, we'll get rid of all of this stuff, hopefully with that MSM. Like I said, I've never tried it before, but a few of the subscribers use it. So I'm gonna give it a try. They use it on buffalo grass, which is important because they say you can't use 2,4-D on buffalo grass and you can use that on regular turf grass. So you don't want to use anything that's going to damage the buffalo grass. So you got to make sure that it's safe. All right. Yeah, look at this. These damn moles. They're all over. They like to go by the base of trees. Moles and chipmunks. They use the, the roots from the tree to kind of hold up their tunnels from collapsing in the rain. Little rat bastards. Here's a look at the far corner of the Big Rock Prairie, and you can see it's pretty sparse over here, and I'm not exactly sure why. It doesn't get any shade from the tree here. You could see that this would even be a shadier area, and there's more grass here. But I do believe this is going to fill in quite nicely. It'll probably just take a little bit longer quick look at the odd acorns on this tree right here. We're right by the corner here. Still no nuts. Just little tiny pokes at the end. Yeah, that is so odd. Acorns that are all cap and no nuts. The tree looks pretty stressed out too. Real hot year. Okay, let's take a quick look at the triangle and wrap this video up. Okay, well, looks like I need to do a little bit of weeding here. There's a lot of wood sorrel, which isn't that bad. At some point, we're just going to let that stuff grow once the buffalo grass is fully established. But it looks like... I'm not sure what that is, but it's probably not good. Yeah, we got yellow foxtail here. Yeah, I got to get in here. This foxtail is all going to seed, at least this patch right here. Most of it is dead, but I got to get in here and get rid of this stuff like this that's going to seed 
Otherwise, I'll be messing with this foxtail for years. Yeah, you can tell that this is dead from getting sprayed, but it was probably really tiny when I sprayed it, and that's what the spray does to it. Gives it uncontrolled growth. Yeah, the blackberries are coming back. A bit right there, a little bit up there. Yeah, I'm going to try out that MSM spray and see if that does a better job on this broadleaf stuff. I should just come in here and spray that stuff with 2,4-D. If it stunts the growth of the buffalo grass right around it, who really cares? The buffalo grass will eventually take over the area anyways. Yeah, I was hoping that I wouldn't have to do much, if any, work in here at all, but I definitely do. I'll get this sprinkler out of here and get in here and spray this stuff. I'm almost tempted to let this stuff go to seed and then just deal with it with spray next year, but I'm not going to do that. Most of these are probably one plant, like that big plant that I just pulled out. Yeah, most of this, that's one plant. Look at all them seeds. And here's another one right here. So, it shouldn't take long, but I'm going to have to make a bunch of trips to a wheelbarrow or something because this is going to be a big pile of weeds. Yeah, didn't take long, but look at all that. Okay, looks like I have a couple hours of weeding in this patch. Just notice this little blue stem, three of them right here. We'll let that keep growing. All in all, this is not bad at all. I'll get in here and pull all this stuff that's going to seed and we'll spray this with that MSM. The problem right now is it's going to be too hot within the next four or five days to spray anything. So all this stuff that's going to seed needs to be hand weeded. This right here is witch's broom, which is related to purple lovegrass. There are two native tumbleweeds in Wisconsin, and they're really closely related. One of them is witch's grass, or witch's broom, and the other is purple lovegrass. Witch's broom is not a bad looking grass, but until this stuff gets established, all of these weedy grasses need to go. Okay, we'll take a quick look at the purple love grass, the stuff I planted just, it was either two or three weeks ago. It's doing really well. We'll take a look at that and we'll sign off. I thought I'd show you this real quick before I produce the video. The vast majority of the last video was made three days ago. It is now exactly two months since this grass was planted. And I got in here and weeded really good. This is my pile of weeds right here. I still have a bunch of broadleaf weeds along the edge and I'm going to spray those tomorrow. It's too hot to spray today, but I just wanted to show that after two months I did get in here and do a thorough weeding of the place. I also wanted to show that the grass is browning up. That's probably due to the drought that we're having. We've had a pretty bad drought this summer and pretty hot weather. I'm guessing that this is going to be a good deal greener next year, but we'll see on that. Okay, and we'll wrap this video up with the purple love grass. It's just getting past its prime, I believe. 
it's hard to tell. Sometimes the witch's broom gets mixed in with it, and that's what the witch's broom looks like. The witch's broom and the purple love grass look very similar, except the purple love grass is purple, of course. Pull a weed or two every time. So this is the old stuff. Got some weed grass in the back there. And this is the stuff I planted this year. This was planted from seed, and I really don't know what's what. Yeah, this is witch's broom, absolutely. And this right here, that's a weed too. So here's another place I got to get in and weed. Doesn't look that bad though. Just a few weeds. Trace them down to where they all come out. Here's this one. And that takes care of a big area. These aren't going to look as beautiful as that stuff until next year, but in another couple weeks, they are going to get purple. So this should look really cool. Yeah, hard to tell. I believe that's a weed, but we'll let it go. So that's the purple love grass doing really well. And as I said in the video, when I planted this, I'm going to have purple love grass all the way along here. Then our espalier apple fence and our dwarf orchard. So that's a look at buffalo grass at about two months. It's a little bit less than two months. And if we weren't having a drought this year, this would probably be completely shaded in like this right here. And at that point, it actually grows a bit faster because the drought, because the ground doesn't get baked out by the sun like that. One thing quickly before I sign off, in these shady areas under the trees, I'm going to be planting wavy hair grass. I planted some by the walnut tree at the end of the yard there, oh, probably five years ago. And I really haven't checked on it in all that time. So I'll go see if that's still alive, but we'll be planting it here. It's a grass similar to the buffalo grass, but I believe it's taller and looks a bit more like the prairie drop seed, but it's a shade loving plant. So that should fill that area in real nice. Take a quick look at the prairie drop seed. That mulch glue is still doing its job. It says it does it for about a year. And it's been, oh, nearly a month now. Look at that. Too bad it doesn't stop the weeds from coming through. Well, you gotta have thicker mulch, I guess. Okay, that's going to wrap it up. So we'll do another update on this at the end of the year in a little over a month. And if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.